Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Mermaid Swamp. Let's get into it, shall we? We're about to examine this map so that we can figure out which way is east again. Face the sun, hour hands here, south between 12 and the hour hand. All right, so the old mansion's to the south. The mark on the map is east, so... That means something's across the swamp? It would take forever to go around. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, why don't you take the boat? Little lady. Vroom vroom. A motorboat. Inserted the red button. Oh no. Now to start up the engine get to the other side. Rin! Sadero, what? Going to that spot on the map? I'm coming with you. Don't want you taking a dive again. Ah, shut up. Aww. Zoom, zoom. Oh, look, we're so cute! Alright, we all know that it's this thing right here. The ground here is weird. It makes a weird sound when you step on it. Let's save, I guess. I don't know. 15, pre dig with Satoro. Oh, look, we have him! Whoa, that's weird. Dig up ground. Here we go. A grate. Looks like we can remove it. I see something below. Looks like there's a ladder. Going down. Hey, Rin. Where's that lantern I gave you? Oh, I broke it a while back. Well, screw you too. You hold that and follow me, all right? Stay right up on that. That booty. Just to get up on the... Oh. What's up? It's so cold all of a sudden. I'm freezing. That should help. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks. Get up on that booty. Get up on that booty. Mmm, girl. Mmm, girl. Dynamite. Doesn't look locked. Let's go in. It wasn't locked. A monster? No. It's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A corpse? Yeah, right. Not something that huge and gross. Wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with adiposere. Re. Adip adiposere. Adiposer. Adiposere? Adiposere. Adipose. I know adipose is a real thing, so adiposere or adiposere. Say again? It's a non-decayed corpse kept away from open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now I know what that legend is all about. Wait, really? Why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? Because mermaids don't exist? That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid. So we won't believe a mermaid legend. What if... What if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? What if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a regular woman? A man from the mountains finds a beautiful girl on the beach. Maybe a diver. Maybe just swimming along. The man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He loved seeing her in the water, so he has her live in a fish tank. Always living in water makes the girl sick, and she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. So 
That's how these corpses were made. Wait, why leave the corpse like that? And why the Addy thing? And why are there five of them? If you left a corpse in the water for a month, it'd, be norm it'd normally be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposely preserved right as they started swelling. Wait, purposely? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine that stops germs from spreading? What if it was to preserve these corpses? Oh. The man loved her, even bloated and ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what he loved most. Loved these corpses? There's some strange people out there with some strange preferences. No one else might ever know them, of course. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He couldn't watch her rot, so he went to a last resort. But that eventually became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's curse takes village girls. He couldn't have just one. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. He must have set them up to continuously fill the fish tanks with that germicide. These women are Ophelia's to the Sushita, Sushita men. They adore the sight of a woman drowning in the water, such that they drown them themselves. That's crazy! These women were abducted for that? So this is the truth of the mermaid. But I don't understand. Why let that secret be known via a legend? Why create a legend to expose it all? The women! The Sushita women! Huh? Wouldn't the Sushita women know that their male relatives were off stealing girls? They loaded them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mermaids themselves. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. That seems to explain the whole legend. But that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka or get out of here. Let's go, Rin. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why can't I move? There was a voice. S -s -s Stop it! I, I don't know where you came from, and I can't take you back! Leave us alone already! the earth that's right you're not mermaids just normal women you don't like looking so hideous I'll do what I can she's looking with murky white eyes This is becoming a this is becoming a compassionate game. This stuff, a pickaxe, some kind of machine. I hope Seder Rose right there. He's not a pickaxe. An unlit light. Can we please have that light? Dynamite. Yeah, with this. You want to blow up the cavern and fill it in? I'm sure this dynamite will do the trick. The, f the fuse is way too short. There's no time to run. You'll be buried alive. Don't be stupid. But I want to do something. I know I wouldn't want to look like that forever. They want to be taken back to be saved. Please, Sadero, help me out. No. But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? 
Ah, you never listen. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be ten seconds before it blows. We have to get to the surface before then. Ren, you wait up above. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Run like heck when run li run like hell. This is the time it deserves to be set. When I lighted, okay. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. I did it. What happened? The ground caved in. That should fill up the cavern. That cavern. Rin, what's up? Were you hurt? Huh? Uh. Oh, she's crying. Tears? They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls. happens next oh Rin old man so so you filled it in did you you dang old coot you knew all about this and you still invited us here our whole family adores mermaids even if they loathe us they cannot seek help. So, they needed someone to help them. They've long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Old man, Mr. Shishida, tell me, did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that is correct. You were in that village all along, right? When I went there, you were there? Yes. Also right. The heck? You didn't do anything! Didn't you do anything? Your family did all this! The mermaids adore us. They had never sought help before. But what my ancestors did was terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow, but I knew no mere monument would save anyone. Yet, I could not release the girls. I loved them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. You dang fogey! I'm calling the police! Stop, Rin. The statue for limitations is probably up by now. And this old man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Yuta a map to the highway earlier. Should be easy to descend the mountains now. What are you going to do, Mr. Sushida? I suppose I'll mourn them for the short remainder of my life. For the deluded men, the departed mermaids, and above all, for my family.
Yuta! Whoa, Rin! Seijiro! Listen, the engine works now. Oh, and the old man came back with a map. We can finally go home! Alright, Yuta, help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. Oh, wait! We should thank the old man! We already said it. Come on, let's go. Where's Yuka? Alright, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. Yuka! Hmm. Ren? Huh? I... You... Yuka! It's like a Pikachu. Yuka! Yuka! We went down the mountain to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything, just that she was cold. Yuka's buying a new- Yuta's buying a new car, finally. He wants to have one with a GPS, so he's working hard at his job. But I'm iffy on traveling with him again. Sadero's taken to calling me Ape Woman. I guess that's an upgrade from Yama Monkey? How mean can a guy get? Oh, and I... I don't have any lonely dreams about being cold in the water anymore. The End Underwater Dream Oh, it's no longer a swamp, it's a lake. And look, we got the good ending. With like the real full credits and stuff. Let me see, let me see if there are... While well, you guys are watching that. Oh, is it pause? Oh, yeah, okay, I don't want to pause. I'll see if there's more endings. And how many more. And then either make another video or just tie it into this video. Oh, guys, we did so good. Oh, pardon me. We got the good ending this time! Yay! Not the one where we die and at a uh, at a door that's not locked. <laughs> Here's all the Ophelias. Seitaro is probably my favorite dude. He's the most logical, scientific, level-headed. Except for when he gets an axe and tries to kill our heroine. He never scientifically explained why he went crazy. Because like everything else, I mean, there's still like a little bit of mystical and magicalness, you know? Uh, oh look, Sun's Saint Sun. Aquarium. I played the, I played his swan piece on cello. Um... Yuri, he's the creator. He's the one who did Paranoiac and Crooked Man, I think, in addition to this game. Anyways, uh, what was I trying to talk about? I don't even remember now. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. All right, come back to the loading screen, and then we'll... Okay, I'm just scrolling down a little bit. Okay. Alright, so there's four endings. We got All Survive, Underwater Dream. We got Only Satoru Dies, Secrets. Apparently, we can kill other people, too. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to put that. I'm getting pretty tired, y'all. I think I'm going to uh, do that in another video. And uh, I'll, I'll put the other two endings in that video, okay? Sound bueno? Okay, cool. Thank you guys very much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you liked it. If you enjoyed the endings. Hey, hey. We did it.
We are the best. High five. That was for you. All right, y'all have a great day, great evening, great night. Uh, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Adios.